Link down below in the description box if you want some help in how to create and use custom rosters. Depending on whether you're on PC slash current gen, which is lumped together, or next gen Xbox series and PS5, the terminology is going to be different. My NBA and my league are the same thing, okay? Just some slight different features. It's going to be roughly about the exact same crap. Go ahead at the bottom left and look at the view nav. So on a PlayStation, it's the circle button, B on an Xbox controller. If you're on a keyboard, there's no help for you. Uh, scroll down to coaching. Go to game plan. Select all teams. Now here you can do what you want, okay? If you want your created player and some other people in here, what you're going to want to do is select whatever player you want. Like one of these reserved ones is probably going to be your created player. And then you're just going to go ahead and swap them with one of the other people here. It's as simple as that. And then the minutes, they're going to be all over the place. I have it so that I got my preferred five with no substitutions. That's my prerogative. But if you wanted to throw in there Potal, for example, and switch him with uh, LeBron James, well, then you would do, you know, a little something like this. Do you know what I mean? You would even out the, uh, the minutes or whatever. And you would go ahead and play with that. You get that all the way you want because most people are not going to play the game the same way that I'm playing. But this is effectively how you you do it. Okay? Playing around with the minutes, making sure that your reserved players or that your created player is actually a part of the mix. Now, let's move on. Once we back out, we back out, bring back the navigation view again. This time we're going to go to coaching. But this time we're going to scroll down to on the fly lineups. Okay. Now for me, how I play is going to be different than you. Here we've got bench, a bunch of other stuff. Look at the top left under the Toronto Raptors where it says bench L2 and R2. If you hit L2 or LT one time, you will go to what's called custom. Okay. Now it's disabled in brackets. So the toggle button is triangle or Y, depending on your controller. Now it's enabled. Go ahead and highlight slash select the player. Go through the list of who you want. And then when you're done, whoops. And when you're done, you simply back out. Okay. Then you can go to free throw. If you want that to be a different one, three pointer defense, you get the idea. And that's essentially all there is to it. Now, when you go to actually play a game, we're going to go ahead and play that game. This is very, very important. Go ahead and advance. Now, from here, you can start the game, edit lineup or edit uniforms. I would probably go to edit lineups. And from here, if you look at the list, this seems to actually be right. Starter. But in the unlikely event that it's not correct, use the L2 or LT button and go to cu custom, which is the custom one that we made. But in this case, they're literally both the exact same. So it, it doesn't matter. And you just go ahead. Oh, yeah. If you wanted to switch some, sorry, you can highlight them from here. If you wanted to switch these two around, you could do that. Switch their positions there. Okay. You can do that from here. So then you back out, you start the game. Same thing once again here, once you're inside of the game. You can go right ahead to pause the game, go to game plan, go to system proficiency. And as you can see your lineup here, you can use the D-pad to move around the different positions and then use the button toggle if you wanted to put another player in there and like quickly sub them out maybe you made a mistake you're changing your mind or whatever the case may be and then that's it then you're literally good to go i don't know anything else that i want to add i want to keep this under five minutes which it is as always if you liked the video go ahead give it a thumbs up it does greatly help support the channel with the algorithm and if you didn't like it thumbs down we'll bend it in half twist it snap it off in your ass and if you want to subscribe to the channel, I mean, naturally, that would be great now, wouldn't it? But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, and maybe I'll see some of you in the next one. Bye for now.